Okay, everyone, I have started to uh, sort out my wing. I put on the nice silver front again. I like that. I know some people say it's going to be annoying, but still, I like it. So I'll put that on, and I found the center of gravity at the bottom. There's one little dot there, which marks it, and one little dot there. So that should be the center of gravity of the wings. I cut the yellow ones off. They're right there. So uh, it's getting on, even though and I shaped the wing nicely down there, so it's got like a nice inside tip. And uh, right now I'm just going to spend some time on decorating. I'm going to paint the plane, but I'm going to do like a, similar to like what I did before. It's just going to be rainbow colors, like uh, red in here, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. So it's going to be like a rainbow wing. Because I think that's nice, and then I'm going to do the yellow ones, maybe going to be some... Um, some checkered design, which would be cool. So yeah. All right, so I better get started drawing or painting. So uh, yeah, I've been working on my wing and I've been painting it today. Uh, and, oh, I can't turn the camera. Let me just change my hand, that's it. So yeah, I've been um, painting my plane, my, my wing, and I've been uh, making the ailerons. And uh, I covered everything in normal packing tape, uh, but it looks very nice. So let me just show you guys the wing. What do you think? You think uh, you think it's nice? Yeah, of course I have to make the rainbow. And if you guys don't know why, it's because I'm gay, simply, yeah. But do you notice little detail? I did the checkerboard, but I did the red in one side and green in another. The green is not very clear, but that's how they are normal flights. Red is always on the left and green is always on the right. So yeah, I got all the colors there. I put some silver tape on the edges here. And if you, if I hold like that, you can see it's got tape all over. It's really shiny and I managed to do a very good job. You can only just barely see where it's, it's joined it together. And the ailerons as well. And they are, they are working. They are flapping. Um, so then after that, I put um, a carbon fiber bar in it. We had from the Cessna which we threw out, so I kept that carbon fiber bar and installed that right on the center of gravity. You can see there, oh, the balance point. That's not the center of gravity, that's the balance point. So, um, yeah, and we have been testing a little bit. Maybe I can do it again, um, just to see that it actually floats. What I did is take one of these metal uh, beer mats, and um, I'll do this. I'll just throw it gently, and you can see it will actually glide. The other one never did that. So let's have a look. You see that? It glided. Maybe I can do it one more time. So, it seems right. Come here. Yeah. See if I can hold it like that. Okay, ready? This is right. Um, so we are very, very positive. We also tried putting the engine on just loosely and then um, putting the battery on. Before, we couldn't get the battery far enough out. Now the battery has to be about here, about that little dot I made there. So that's perfect. So um, it's just the wind is about dropping now. It really is dropping. So I'm taking my MCPX out and Mike is going out again. He fixed his helicopter. Um, he thought the ES ESC and the big one was broken or completely burned out. I said no. And some guy on uh, Model Forum is a Danish chat site, not chat site, but a place where we can help each other out. A guy... Um, knew about this problem and he helped Mike out and reset the ESCs, now it's working. So thank you whoever you are out there for helping my friend out. That is cool because he wasn't very happy about that. He just spent a long time on waiting for new parts for that helicopter and struggling to get money for it. Um, and then when he finally got the parts, the ESC didn't work. So thank you for helping out. Alright, I think it's about time that I pack my beast of a helicopter. Oh, I actually had a damage yesterday. Not while I was flying, but it just felt down. But look. Eh, landing frame broken, it's a bit crap, but it still flies, it's okay, I'll probably give it a little bit of super glue, I haven't got any though, but uh, Mike got some, so maybe I should just nib up and get that first. Oh, Mike's doing that, that's cool, so I can get that fixed, yeah, and uh, yeah, we had a new glue gun in action, beast. And look, the SR is in one piece as well, I'm, I'm very happy, but I'm not taking out flying yet. Because I'm I'm trying to align all the cables so this it properly, and that is a little bit of a job. But at least it's a helicopter again. I haven't got my parts yet from a main hobby. They might come tomorrow with a bit of luck. Um, so I can actually have two of these helicopters. These are, are quite small. This is a little helicopter, 
But um, yeah, Mike will help me trim it out so we can get it working. All right, guys, see you down at the, our little fly place. You know the little part where we go to? So uh, yeah, we'll be down there in a minute. We are at the helicopter flying spot. Well, there's not a helicopter spot. It's just a football field with gravel, which is nice. So yeah, my 450 is there and my little bay. You can see how tiny mine is. That's a 450 and that's my little MCPX. Very, very tiny. And then Mike is having his beast over there. And it is a beast now because it's got a beast uh, system on it. Which is very advanced and you're using that when you fly fly barless. And what I explained to you yesterday, fly barless, my little one is fly barless, look. Because, and that one isn't. It got those paddles here. Which on um, the other way. This is the way the the uh, normal props go, and this is the fly bar. And so this is not fly barless, but that one is because I haven't got one, and so is Mike's new one over there. Yeah, but I'm not gonna film him take off. This is brand new for him, sister. I don't want, really want to get it in case he gets nervous. He gets nervous when I record, so I'm just gonna shut it off now, and uh, hopefully it'll go well. So cross your fingers, guys, and hope that uh, you'll see the next clip in one piece. Look how much he's working. It's a T-Rex 600. He's doing, the fly wireless is just so more calm. You don't have all the strange suddenly moving to one side and all that. And yeah, Mike set all this up himself. So he's becoming a very, very experienced helicopter trimmer. Is it nice to fly? You've been missing it, haven't you? <laughs> he, he hasn't been flying this for about a month. So he's pleased to have it back up again. You look at his stick control, he hardly do anything. Very, very little work. So that's nice. See, he's, that's just hanging. Look guys, it really is just hanging. So. Yo, the wind is pushing wind. It is the beast. It's nice to see you flying again. That makes me wonder 600. That is nice. That is lovely. So yeah, um, Mike is back in action again. So now he'll he'll probably go out and start saving up for two extra batteries so he can go flying a lot more. The batteries for these ones are quite expensive. So uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, that was awesome. We like that. Fly bar less T Rex four hundred. Ah, ah six hundred. Sorry. It's all these numbers. 250, 100, and 550, and blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, I'm getting a bit confused. See, I'm, I got my stuff ready. See, mine is hanging there. Mike got the newer version. He got the 7, I got the 6. Time for 450, and then I'm going after. Because Mike is slightly... He's not very good at looking in the dark. or well, not dark, but it's getting a little bit... Uh, a little bit darker. He's, his vision is not too good. He needs glasses, or laser surgery. So, I'm flying the last one. Because my eyes are... I guess they are a little bit better. But now he got plenty of batteries for that one. He bought two brand new ones. And it's the first time you find those. Fresh packs. They say they get better when they've been charged a few times. So let's see if that's true. There we are, guys. I just made my bling blingy, uh, shiny, shiny side wings for my wing. They're supposed to sit, I don't know how much you can see if I put the lights on. They're supposed to sit here, like stabilizer guides and stuff. And I'm just going to hot glue these on. I just put the hot glue on, which is out there. And uh, with that, I am going to say goodnight, because this is going to be the last thing. Oh, that's so bright. That's going to be the last uh, I'm going to do today of my plane. And I'm going to work tomorrow, only shortly. I'm start at 1 o'clock and I'm off at 6 again. So it's just a very short shift. <sighs> so, um, yeah. Um, hopefully I could tomorrow get to finish uh, the plane so much that I could, um, that I could test it out and fly it. Um, as I told you, I actually put that, um, put that, uh, bar in there, but also I covered it with, um, hot glue and smoothed it out. So it's completely gone in that. It's completely stuck in there now. It won't come out, which is good. And when uh, when I'm done that, um, I'll probably glue these on, uh, or maybe I'll wait for that to tomorrow. I'm not too sure if the this should go on now, um, because I need to tape the whole bottom as well, uh, like I did with the top one. But they are going to sit like um, this is the one for here. They're going to sit like this. Can you see that? 
So that's how they're gonna sit. It's like a, a nice fin. And they're gonna be glued on, so they stay, and uh, yeah. I think this is gonna be a very nice wing. As you can tell, I'm very pleased with it, mainly because I made it so nice. And uh, spent some time on it. So yeah. No more of uh, making that today, now I'm just gonna have a shower and then I'll go to bed, because I'm tired. <laughs> Alright guys. I'll see you all tomorrow. Alright, take good care guys, and thank you for being subscribed, you're all summer. You're all uh, pretty awesome out there, and um, don't forget, there's not many days for Fingerboard giveaway, and um, I still got Fingerboard for sale of my old collection, so if you want to buy some, just ask me, and I'll uh, I'll tell you which boards I got left. Alright, so take good care, see you all soon, bye.